Welcome back to Yo Loco Metal Pro Cycling Manager 2021. Last time we won RVV, I'm so happy about it, but today we take on our first Paris-Roubaix, which is gonna be something different, because this time around, I do think it fits Sheffield more than every other cobble race we've done so far. Next to that, it's Sulia, Brabant Sapel, Amstel Gold Race, and also La Flèche, together with Liège, Baston Liège. That's our menu for today. Firstly, it's Sulia. We start off in a flat stage. Next, we've got a flat stage. Additionally, we have a hill stage on day three, another hill stage on day four, another hill stage on day five, and another hill stage on day six, but this one is a time trial. Considering there's no real mountain stage, I decided to go for Aramburu as leader, perhaps co-leader Cataneo on this one as well. We are the favorite for the first stage. I do recall that we won four stages of the six last year in the Basque country, so let's try that again. Let's go 99 with Jokin right now. Fetra is ready. Aramburu is not in my wheel though. Can I fix that by going to the right? I think I can. Let's launch with Fetter. And now Alex Aramburu is perfectly situated in the wheel. Let's launch before this corner happens. Come on, come on, come on, Alex. Come on, Alex. Pogacar, Pogacar. Oh no, it's going to be Pogacar on the first one, is it? Damn it. Tade takes it. Of course, he also takes the first lead. We have four seconds deficit towards Pogacar going into the second stage. Let's try that again on day two then, shall we? Our sprint with Jokin Aramburu can happen. Fetter is about to launch as well right now before this corner. And now Aramburu can launch as well in the corner. There we go. Perhaps a bit early, actually. Perhaps a bit early. Erik Fetter looks like he's going to do it himself. Erik Fetter is going to do it himself. <laughs> Erik Fetter does it ahead of Higita and Aramburu in third. So once again, bonus second for Alex. But hey, Fetter does it for the squad. What is it with Fetter and beating his leader in the race? Last year, Vogel in UAE. This year, Aramburu and Itzulia. GC-wise, we've got a new leader, Alex Aramburu, same time as Pogacar and Erik Fetter, so two riders of ours on number one. On to the more hilly stages. These first two have a flat ending after a descent. Swamp Paper do fit Aramburu, although the game doesn't think so, with Pogacar being the favorite on this one. We are on the final climb. I'm having trouble with my positioning, so I'm hoping that I can slowly but surely make my way to the front. Fetter is almost completely done for, so it's about time that Cataneo will be taking over to help out the squad. Another attack up front, nothing too major though. Carlos Rodriguez now with Izaguirre, but we are near them, so no problem. Now Fisher Black can try and control the rest of the attacks in the descent, then try and do a lead out for Aramburu. Two kilometers to go, we've got Gudu on the right of us. I'm going to launch with Fisher Black, might be too early. Aramburu in the wheel will launch right now to get past. Simmons, Higita versus Aramburu, Higita versus Aramburu, who's gonna take it in the end? It's gonna be Aramburu taking it, yes indeed, a second stage win for the team, Arwin gives us another 10 seconds bonus on the likes of Pogacar and Higita it seems in the GC, so I'm happy with today's result. Considering we enjoyed that, let's try that again on stage 4. I'm like 90% sure this is one of those climbs we've done in the Spanish National Championships, the Alto del Vivero, but I'm not completely certain. But we are looking good on the final climb right now, surviving with our four riders. I should on paper be using Fisher Black to protect Aramburu here. Fetter seems to be in better form than the day before, so he might be able to do the lead out here. A perfect lead out set up for Aramburu once again. And I think that Fetter is about to launch as well pretty soon after this corner. There we go. Fetter launches. Slightly falls for the uphill and it's causing energy loss on Aramburu, which I don't like. And I think we're not going to win this stage. I think it's going to be for Pogacar. No, 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 no. Absolute domination by Aramburu. Didn't see that one coming. Haha. <laughs> Third in a row. 14 seconds on Simmons now. 16 on Pogacar. 20 on Higita. That's the advantage of Alex Aramburu in GC. The hardest of the three is going to be this one. Finish on Arate. Aramburu's our man for this one, but I think that getting over this last hill is not going to be as easy as sprinting on a flat sprint against Pogacar. But we'll give it a try. We're in the lead, so let's try and protect it. Oh, Aramburu minus three on a day. That's not good for a stage like this. I'm already scared. I might actually risk it and go for Cataneo today. I don't trust Aramburu with minus three. Here we go. Arate has begun. We are moving up with Cataneo. I've completely given up on the opportunity of your boy Alex Aramburu, this tempo is insane by Carlos Rodriguez. How the hell am I supposed to follow that with a guy that doesn't have a proper hill stat, which is Cataneo? Then again, 79 hill stat on the day, so I guess he can do something today. Let's try and use Fetter on him right now. Aramburu won't be useful, I'm afraid, so let's get him out of the way. And let's try and see if we can slowly but surely make it a bit more towards the front of the group, because right now, 
We are out positioned. 2.5 kilometers to go. Can we move up in the group somehow on 90 for a second? Because our positioning is still not that great. We are moving up and we've got a section right here that is basically a flat section, which means that Cataneo's fucked. <laughs> Damn it. Let's follow Higita. We're not winning the sprint anyway, but I'm going to try it anyway. Let's follow for now and now we'll start the sprint. Let's try and get past Cataneo. No, we are Cataneo. <laughs> Cataneo? Cataneo? Oh, 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 oh. oh my god, Cataneo wins the stage. GC-wise, we lost the lead with Aramburu, obviously. We've got Higita now in the lead, ahead of Simmons and Pogacar. We're now in fourth with Cataneo on six seconds only, so this is going to be a tense time trial. I've got the feeling that Pogacar will likely be winning the GC on this one, since he's third favorite on the time trial. But let's hope Cataneo has a good time trial stat on the day, because then we can actually do something to get on the podium. Here we go, Cataneo is on the road, and I've put him on 86 on the climb itself, a minus two on the day, meaning our time trial is not afflicted, but our prologue is minus two, secondary is minus three, and so forth. So, not a great start. We are near the top, let's drop it to 85, and let's see what it does to our first time check. 95th on a minute 20, Jesus Christ, that's horrible. I'm gonna lower it towards roughly 78-ish, because... I can't keep this up on 85, but this is not looking like it will be a good time trial for us. We are literally getting passed by Pogacar in the final kilometer. I'm done for. Fuck this. Oh my god. He's done it. Tade Pogacar. And he's probably taking the lead in GC as well. 41 seconds. Oh my god. We are not even in the top 10 anymore. 11th. It's exactly the same as Tireno. In Tireno, we lose the top 10 in the time trial. We go to 11th spot. In Itsulia, we lose our top 10 in GC. We go to the 11th spot. We are cursed. Our stage race of the episode is done for. Now on to the four one-day races. Firstly, Roubaix. An opportunity for Sheffield to show himself, but how is this guy not in his fitness peak? It's the only big goal he has this season. The rest of the squad is looking fine, though. Aldani, Aramburu and Kovi all in a fitness peak. Ooh, plus two on Sheffield, which means 84 cobble. He is destined to be leader together with Corvi at 81 cobble. This is perfect for us. Ooh, bit of a split up before we get to through it out in Bedig, actually. And I'm not going to be the person that's going to bring that group back. I'm in the front with Sheffield. Corvi's not there, but still, it's uh, better than having no one up front. Oh, Incon punctured. Damn it. That's another rider gone from the first group. Oh, boy. At least he's in the second peloton now, who will likely come back after this one. The gap is only 40 seconds. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't make that a gap. Damn it. We're in peloton three with Inkhorn. This is not how it's supposed to be. Oliveira's gone as well from the front. We've only got Magnus Sheffield up here. Why is this going that fast? Where's Vanderpool? Why are they going this hard in this group? This Vanderpool's up there. He's attacking. Fanat's attacking with 90k to go. Why? Why is Vanard attacking with 90k to go? This is never going to go well for them. Vanard had joined the breakaway, but the rest of this second peloton is now in here as well, including Magnus Sheffield. They keep on attacking in this fast group with Sheffield. That's not so great, to be honest, because, uh, I don't know, I don't want to spend this much so early with Sheffield. For now, I just want to hold on, and I think all these riders that keep on attacking, like a Vanderpool right now, will just implode at the end. Okay, Vanderpool caught, and there's a bit of silence here, so hopefully this is the time for this group with Kovi to come back to bring a domestic to Sheffield. Then we are in a perfect situation right now if that happens, and it seems like that's the case. Perfect. We are golden at the moment. Oshi les Oshi, we've got 50k to go, Vanat and Asgrain leading the peloton on these cobbles. Oh my god, no, 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 Kovi's gone. No! Fuck! Damn it! Oh my god! Who did that? Who are you? Is that Steven? God damn it, Jasper. Kovi's in this group now. Where is that? That is a minute ahead of Inkhorn. If I can get Inkhorn to Kovi, that's ideal. But I need to work with this group. We need to try and get ourselves back to the group of Sheffield, which will be impossible. I just got back to the group with Kovi. Damn it. Mozan Pavelop coming. Our 84 Cobble is doing God's work right now because we are looking really good for this race. We've got to move up there by Van der Poel. And plenty of energy right now. Kovi's back. Perfect. Awesome. We've got him back in the peloton at the right time. We've got to move up there. That is Van der Poel, Wout van Aert and so forth. I'm not overly scared yet because we've got Kovi to pace. And usually they do stop riding crazy up there at a certain point, which I hope will happen at some point. They stop doing anything up there. So I can just sit up again. 
If they keep on doing that, attacking and sitting up, then we are looking good for the race. This solo is actually getting pretty far though. Asgrin and Turki, 1 minute 25 on this group. Kovi now setting the tempo, going towards the last two cobble sections of the day. 20k to go. Gap is 1 minute. Confel en Pavel. Let's bloody go with Sheffield. Looks like Van Mark is thinking the exact same thing. He's going very hard right now. Van Aert and Seneschal as well. We are following this tempo with Magnus Sheffield. This tempo is kind of a bit too fast for us, it seems. But I'm going to try and follow this group at least. There we go. We're still in the wheel. And we still have plenty of energy. Let's get past people here and go again on Carrefour de l'Arbre. 85 effort casse. How am I not able to follow that tempo? I do not understand. But I guess it's a thing. So... Let's try and work together with the people that we are with and hope that we can still catch the riders up front. Vanderpool taking over and helping out and the gap is closed. Perfect. I'm going to try and get to the wheel of Vanderpool. We've got Seneschal going. Oh my god, is nobody going to respond to that? I'm working with the others a tiny bit on 65-70. Gap is 30 seconds. I don't want it to be too much more. I don't know what to do, guys. Like, I don't know what to do right now. The gap is still quite significant. I need to try and chase that down, I think. But others are going to benefit off of me, I think. Come on, Sheffield. Get to someone's wheel. Please, someone go already. Ah, oh, my man. Why do I need to do the chasing? That's gonna backfire big time. 20 seconds. Can I get to someone's wheel right now? Can I get to someone's wheel? Let's see. We got ourselves on the top of the ramp right now. I will not have the energy to sprint if I keep on going like this. But someone's going to go... Right now, let's get to their wheel. Oh, come on, come on. Take the inside, take the inside. Come on, Sheffield. Now we're done for. We tried, but it's gonna be bloody wild for not taking it. Damn it. Ninth and our first Rubain. Not great, not terrible, I guess. I hoped for more, you know, in the situation that we were in with so much energy in the last 40 kilometers. The cobble races are finished. Now the hill races begin. We've got Amstel Gold Race in first. Tom Pitcock is the favorite to get it with Mark Hirsch and Tade Pogacar. In our team, we've got the likes of Aramburu, Kovi, Lars Boven, and Montoli as our four best hill riders. With 12k to go, we are looking really good. Kovi's still here to help out Aramburu close gaps before we get to the final hill. And on that final hill, I will try and launch my sprint with Aramburu. So that's exactly what our plan is. And so far, it's working very well. Four kilometers to go. I'm actually just going to pace myself to the bottom of this ascent, to the start of the Calabatic, and just launch it. I don't know how... Early on the Cowboy High should launch it though. I'll go towards 93, something like that, in this descent to have that as my initial speed on the climb. There we go. And I think I'll wait a tiny bit longer to go 99. And I will do it right now at 500 meters to go. This is way too late. Way too late. Oh, we're getting past, but we're so blocked. Nah, I bottled for Amstel completely. Benoit Cosnefra takes it. Well, let's hope Flesh and LBL go a bit better than this. Unfortunately, Flesh has a very similar finish than the last one. Obviously, it's much steeper, Mudehui, but it's 1k of climbing uphill very fast. And I'm not very good at that. So let's hope we are better in this race. We're about to climb the Côte de Chirave, the second last climb of the day, which is 1.4k at 7.7%. And we are ready to try and follow any attack that happens on this one. We've got three riders left with proper energy, or at least notable energy. I'm not going to say that Fisher Black's energy is proper on this one, but oh, tempo is going to go real fast on this one. And as you can see, some people try and use this one to attack away. And I need to make sure that I can follow that without spending all my energy because I want to focus on the Murahui itself. They're going to go very hard at the start. They're sprinting already. I'm going to wait. I can't do that, a sprint from the bottom of Murahui. So let's move up towards 95 right now. Let's try and get through right here, but God damn it, Godu, get out of here. Oh my God. Every single time, we, we like try to stay near the front, but we just don't manage to do that. And Pogacar is the winner of Flesh on this one. It seems like the game just wants us to go ham at the bottom of the final hill. But if we do that, we are done with 300 meters to go and we're not beating Pogacar anyway. So I'm trying different stuff, but it's not working. Seven on this one. Last race of the day then, LBL, Liège, Baston, Liège. And I think I'm going to be happy because... It looks like we've got the Liège finish, which is the flat sprint in town. And looking at the last two races, the uphill finish haven't gone very well. So I'm kind of happy with this one. Looking at the parkour, I think that the race is probably going to open up right here, I'm guessing. Côte La Redoute. Perhaps already we can see some splits on the Côte du Rosier, but that's kind of early, isn't it? 
I decided to help out Zukovsky with Nais and Pitcock on the Code de One because if I put some pressure on the Peloton on top of these hills, the Peloton might be smaller by the time we reach the decisive points, which is helpful for me because positioning is my weakest point. That actually worked out and we're now on the Osier climb with only 32 people in the group, which is what I was looking for. 40k left in the race and it's about to happen. Code Ladder Dude is upcoming in about two kilometers. We've got Attila Walter and Esteban Chavez pacing hard towards the bottom of this hill. And right there in front of us is the steepness that awaits us. We have ourselves well situated. Fisher Black is probably not going to survive this one. Okay, anticlimactic. Nothing happening on Ladder Dude. So, fine for me, I guess. 53 people to the next hill then. Last climb of the day. Rochelle Faucon, we've got ourselves settled nicely at the front. Aramburu is going to try and get over this one because then I can sprint for it if I can get over this climb. The thing about Rochelle Foucault is that it doesn't end when we get over this small section because it goes down for a tiny bit and then it goes up again. So we got to make sure we still have energy then. Pitcock is waiting on the group again. Okay. Right there on the left, we've got Roglic going. 95 at 95 it. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. If I can get over this one, that is perfect. Kovi needs to get to the front so we can... Dive into the descent to do the lead out. Right now we are still looking good. I don't like the fact that we have got Roglic up there though. Let's hope this group can work together to chase him down. Trying to get into a different wheel. Simmons on the right side of the road. There we go. 2.5k to go. Come on Aramburu. Don't be in a bad wheel. Let's follow Pogacar instead. There we go. We've got 2k to go. Let's wait. Let's wait. Let's wait. Let's wait. I'm going to launch right now in this corner. There we go. Oh, I'm gonna be too late, aren't I? I'm gonna be too late. All these corners are fucking it for me. I'm gonna be too late. It's gonna be Shockman winning LBL. We're gonna finish fourth on LBL. Damn it. Oh, so close yet so far. I think if we can get Kovi over that Rochefoucault with more energy than we have, then we could have done something more here. But we didn't have a lead out and I had to play off the wheel of Pogacar and he waited too long to start his sprint and lost himself. So in the end, we couldn't do it today. Honestly, this was the worst episode, results-wise, of the season so far. We've got a 2 11 Yes, we got four stage wins, but that's a bummer that we can't deliver a GC in that race. Paris-Roubaix 9th was hoping for a bit more. We did have our first experience in that race, though, this time around. Amstel, Flesh, and LBL. LBL was the best of the three because we had a flat finish. And the other two finishes were a one-kilometer hill. If you know how to play that, tell me in the comments section because I clearly don't. Some good news to finish off though. We've got the transfer dossiers up. Fortunato and Kovi are in the current dossiers already because those are riders we must re-sign. They're the OGs at Eolo Cometa. In the next episode, I'll be showing you which riders I've got my eye on initially in this transfer period. And next to that, we're going to be starting off the Giro d'Italia. Thanks for watching today's episode. See you next time. Goodbye.